Last night, like some students started getting emails about um, a two week lockdown in the accommodation. We didn't all get them at the same time, so there's a bit of confusion. Uh, we were literally about to go out though, and we found out about it. So everyone came and like gathered down here and was like asking questions. So we're all stuck in now for two weeks. I think it was more confusion for everyone because most of us have done two weeks or ten days of isolation and we were coming to the end of the period and they've just started it now so I think everyone's a bit yeah. confused. They said that our flats can mix now, Which uh, I guess that's the only as, positive. Yeah. We're being treated as one household apparently. Yeah, uh, so we can socialise a bit more with the people <laughs> around I suppose um, but we just can't leave, go shopping, do anything like that. It does feel kind of like a prison. Yeah, because we're not allowed to leave here, the gates. And it's like all the fences just make it... Like a zoo? Yeah. <laughs> we didn't think we'd get locked down this early. We were expecting a lockdown, but you know, in the future, not this early. It's literally been a week, yeah. so... The three of us tested positive on Friday, so we only had a week left to quarantine. Um, and then we've got an extra week added on top just because of the lockdown. We feel bad for people that don't have it and yeah. have to stay two weeks in. We've had some symptoms, obviously everyone's different. We're all okay, but it, it's not nice. It's just rough. And even, yeah, yeah, even though we're young, it, it's not nice. Well, I can't really believe it's actually happening. No, like, no. This whole time I thought I could get it, but then when I kept, when it came through positive, I was like, oh God, like I've actually got it. Yeah, it's, it's like, surreal, what? it's very surreal. Yeah.